Today, March 11th, we celebrate the feast of St. Eulogius of Cordoba. St. Eulogius was born of a senatorial family of Cordoba, Spain. At that time, Cordoba was the capital city of the Moorish occupation of Spain, and the Christians in that region were ever at risk. Over time, many recanted their faith, turning to Islam and adopting the customs of the Moors. St. Eulogius was educated and ordained a priest and became the leader of the local church in Cordova. Despite the pressure from the occupying forces, he continued to celebrate mass and offer encouragement to those brave Christians who held truth to their faith. During the persecution raised against the Christians in the year 850, St. Eulogius was thrown into prison and there wrote his exhortation, exhortation to martyrdom, addressed to the virgins Flora and Mary, who were beheaded on 24th of November, 851. Six days after their death, Eulogius was sent at liberty. In the year 852, several others suffered the like martyrdom. St. Eulogius encouraged all these martyrs to their triumphs and was the support of that distressed flock. In 8057, a virgin named Leocritia of a noble family of the Moors was converted and sought his protection against her irate parents. St. Eulogius hid her among friends for a time, but eventually they were all discovered and condemned to death. St. Eulogius was beheaded on March 11th, 857, and St. Leocritia four days later. Paul Alvarez, Life of a Eulogius, records that a dove was seen flying above his martyred body, portraying his peacefulness and innocence, which could not be killed despite the attempts of the angered Muslims. St. Eulogius of Cordoba, pray for us.